Hey, good morning, Facebook. It's Jerry coming to you from Rhythmia Life Advancement Center in beautiful downtown, where are we? Hacienda Pania, Guanacaste, Costa Rica. And uh, if you don't know about Rhythmia, Rhythmia is a life advancement center. Hey, Zinlin. That specializes in a particular type of healing that is called a soul merger. And uh, we do this healing by using metaphysical teachings as well as, as sacred plant medicine uh, to make this thing occur. We, we actually believe, hey, Jen, we actually believe that, I don't know if you can see this, that uh, between when you're conceived and about five years old, you split from your soul, stay within your aura, and then this split is the reason for all addictions, disease, disorders, and sadness. Uh huh. And when you put this back together, things improve greatly. How do we know it? We've had over 6,000 people through our doors. 95.12% of them uh -huh, have this remerger occur. And the greatest thing about it is 97.55% of them keep it forever. Uh huh. So this is something you can come to this place, you can have this happen, and it really changes your life. Uh, last week we had a private event. I'm not allowed to tell you who was here. I wish I could. Uh -huh. This week we have 92 people, uh, which is becoming our new norm. And uh, the, the place, the center is sold out between now and January. And we, we continually uh, get more people that come and have this miracle happen in their life. And it really is a miracle. And people are really, really changed. And hey, Tracy, hey, Paul. Last week, the week before last, I was talking about the 10-year overnight success. And I got a lot of emails about this. I wasn't expecting to, but I got a lot of emails. And, and people that are having trouble trying to understand what this 10-year overnight success is. So what I'm going to tell you is, statistically, that this, this, this event that happens that equates to success in our life happens at about the 10th year we've invested in something. Uh -huh. And for a lot of people that they think, oh my God, that's such bad news. And Jerry, what makes you qualified to talk about it? So my thing is this, I became a millionaire in my 20s. I became a multi, multi, multi-millionaire in my 30s. Uh, I sold a company at 42 for about $90 million and I stopped uh, working. And that's what made me able to speak about the financial part of this. So, so let me talk a little bit about the financial part because a lot of people have a lot of questions about it. But before I do that, I just wanna say some things. Number one, Rhythmia is going incredibly, incredibly well. Uh, we're purchasing the 60 contiguous acres to us and we're gonna go through a major expansion that we're going to announce in the next couple of weeks, exactly what that expansion entails. But I wanna talk back to the overnight success. So a lot of people look at this thing, it's about a 10,000 hour ordeal, and say, well, I don't want to invest 10 years uh, to get something. And what I'm gonna tell you is this, the 10 years is going to come and go anyway, whether you want to do it or not. And I'm not some guy who's gonna sit here and promise you that you can do it overnight and that things are easy and that there's some super magical way in order to get your money. Because I have enough of my fucking money. I have my own. I don't need to get your money. Uh -huh. But I will tell you the truth. And the truth is this, there is no shortcut. There is an easy way, but there's not a shortcut. And what do I mean by there is an easy way? Well, it comes down to this. When you love what you're doing, and I mean when you really love what you're doing, it, turn, it turns away from work and into just being happy with the thing that you're doing. And when you're just happy with the thing that you're doing, the 10 years comes and goes in the blink of an eye. It delivers the energy of money. It does, it's just the way that it works, and things are over. And the next thing you know, you, and then you start thinking, wow, what a great ride that was, how much I loved what I was doing and how much I still love what I'm doing. So when you feel like it's going to work, so if you're sitting there and you're thinking, 
oh my God, I don't, I don't have 10 years. I don't want to do something for 10. It's because you're not doing the right thing with your life. Because if you were doing the right thing with your life, you would sit back and look at what you're doing, your life's work, and you'd be saying, wow, 10 years is nothing. I could do 10 years standing on my head. Uh huh. Because I love what I'm doing. Uh huh. And if you don't love what you're doing, you're not in it. And if you, and here's the other thing. People say, well, can you do it? If you, can you get, let's say you're shooting for money. Can you get money if you don't like what you're doing? Yes, 100%, I did it. You know why I did it? I dedicated about 11 years of my life to a particular company that I did not like. I don't like the business they were in. You know why I did it? I did it to prove people wrong. Mm -hmm. And what a sad win that was. When I won that, what a sad, depressing win that was. Uh huh. Doing something that you hate doing for 10 years of your life to prove somebody wrong. Holy shit. Uh huh. How crazy. But you can do it for any reason. I'm going to tell you if you're doing it for the wrong reason, even when you get it, it's a loss. It's terrible. It doesn't feel good. So let's talk about doing it for the right reason. A lot of you are sitting there and saying, I don't have 10 years. I'm working in a bank. I'm unhappy. I keep saying working in a bank. I know it's not what I mean, but I'm working at a particular job in a cubicle. I'm unhappy. I don't like what I'm doing. Well, I'm going to tell you what, you better do yourself a favor. You better take Saturday off and you better sit in a room and you better come really fucking clear with what's going to happen. And I want to tell you what I mean. What's going to happen is you're going to die. Mm -hmm. And if you can't uh, visualize this or think about it, go do plant medicine and go through the death process and then know that this is coming, that death is certain and it's coming. And then sit down and figure your age and figure out your average lifespan and say, how many of those years can you be productive? And figure it out and say, now what do I want to be doing? If I'm, if, if, and if that answer is sitting in the cubicle or sitting at the bank, you won, you won. But if the answer is not, and let's say that you're working at a bank and you want to be a writer or you're working at a bank and you want to be a uh, painter or you're working at a bank and you want to be a healer or you just want to be involved in the healing arts. So the thing is then sit down and say what it is you want to be involved in. And I don't care. I started this thing when I was... 52 or something. Uh huh. I don't care if you're 62, 72, 42, 32. It's never too late to do the thing that you love. And if you say, well, I can't do that, Jerry, and uh, keep my car in my house, I'm not telling you to quit your job. I'm not telling you not even a little bit to quit your job. As a matter of fact, stay at your job. But start painting one painting. In, on Saturday or on Sunday or after school and then give that painting away or start cooking one biscuit, one muffin and, and do that after, after work and then give that muffin away. And I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna do it for a long enough time until your muffins are so good that people are not only paid, but they're lining up around the corner and then go and quit your job. And, and if you say, well, Jerry, you know, it's just too hard, then you know what? It's too fucking hard. But then don't be the person that 10 years from now says, oh, I wish I listened and did that shit. Don't, don't complain about it. Because I'm gonna tell you what, it is hard, you know? Life swimming against the stream is hard. It is, right? But all the rewards are upstream. Uh-huh, what downstream a lot of times are the waterfalls which we don't want to go over. All the rewards are upstream. That means that if we're going to do something more than what we would do by floating along, we have to engage. We have to do something different. And this is the kind of thing that, that, that you can't, you can't, uh, you can't cheat yourself out of. You have to engage. You have to get in. And, and how do you get in? Through love. See, I'm not asking you to do something that's hard. 
I'm asking you to pick what you love, what you love, and do that. That's all I'm asking you to do. And, and look at if you don't have time to do what you love, then you're really fucking in the wrong place. Hey, Jody from Kingston, how you doing? You're really in the wrong place. Like if you don't have time to take an hour a week to bake muffins, if you love baking muffins, then you're in the wrong thing. You gotta figure something else out. Uh huh. But if you have that hour, let's say you wanna be a healer. A lot of people come here, do the medicine. They merge back with their soul. And by the way, please come here. And if you're gonna come here, come here quickly because it's booking up and booking up and booking up. The number, if you wanna to talk to someone about coming, it's 1-866-936-9446, uh-huh. But let, let's talk about this. Getting into the game, doing what you wanna do. I'm not asking you to do what you don't like doing. I'm not saying, hey, start trading stocks in the day. If that's not what you wanna do, I'm asking you to fall in love with something. To fall in love with something because the 10 years is coming and going anyway. So fall in love with something. What do you mean fall in love with something? A lot of people come here, they get merged back together and they wanna be healers because, I'll tell you why, because almost everybody who comes to this place is a light worker, a light warrior, which means they're a healer in some way. But they actively, when they get here, they say, okay, I wanna be in the healing arts. Okay, you wanna be in the healing arts, but you're working at Smith Barney. That's okay. As a matter of fact, what a great place to start healing where everybody needs healing. Uh-huh. And you put a little thing on the board. Hey, look at I'm doing energy healings. Come after work for free. And they start coming after work for free. And then the next thing you know, they start paying you. And when they start paying you, and then they start lining up. And what does it take? A week? A month? No. Nope takes 10 years. By and large, it takes 10 years. I had to tell you a funny story. This morning I'm at breakfast with the woman who uh, discovered Eminem. Uh -huh. And his was an eight and a half year overnight success story. Uh -huh. My son, Jerry, I'm gonna bring him up, just sold, uh, just sold. His song, his song is on Kanye West's new album, uh, I guess one of the top, top 10 album in the country. Uh -huh. And that was a nine year overnight success. Uh -huh. Everybody who gets something done, that's big. It's a 10 year thing sticking to your knitting. So number one, you better find what you love and you better find what you love quick because the only thing, the only currency that matters in this lifetime is time. That's the only thing you can't get back. You can get money back. You can get almost anything, but you cannot get time back, 100%. You can get love back. You can get things back because people's, people, you know, they, they come and go. You can get all of that back, but you cannot get time. So by all means, this week, take a look at what you're doing. And, and if you're too busy to take 20 minutes out to figure this out, then you got a big problem. And that's what it takes. Go lock yourself in a room. I say this to people all the time. Take out the thing and just take out a pen and paper and decide what is it that I love to do. Uh -huh. If you want to be an actor, act. Want to be a baker? Bake. Want to be a painter? Paint. You don't have to leave what you're doing. People say to me all the time, well, listen, I have a mortgage and a car payment and this and that and I can't leave it. I can't. I'm not asking you to. I'm asking you to take time after school, after work, on the weekends, to do and practice the thing that you love. And when you're doing and practicing the thing that you love, guess what? It ain't work. Uh-uh. It's not work. It's joy. I have to tell you, I say this all the time, I would do what I'm doing for free. And I would like to do what I'm doing for free because right now it's costing me money. So I would do this for free, uh -huh. for the rest of my life. It's what I love doing, which means I started this in 2014. I bought it in 20, I mean, I opened in 2016. By 2023 or 2024, this will be doing incredibly well. It's already doing great. 
Uh huh. But that's when it all comes together. And I know it. 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 I know it for me. I know it for you. The, the statistics are out there. It's a 10,000 hour deal. You better get into something you love to do. If you're getting up for work and going, oh God, you know, you're in the wrong thing. And the only way out of it is to, to start doing the thing that you love doing on the side. It's the only way out. Uh huh. And if you're too busy to figure out what you love doing, you're going to die with the most amount of regret, the most amount of regret. And the one thing that I don't want for people is regret. Uh huh. So how do we get out of regret? So simple. Slide into the thing that we love. Slide into the thing that we love. Slide into the thing that we love. Right? Uh huh. And now if we slid into the thing that we love and we notice that we're getting burnt out. Do you know what getting burnt out means? It doesn't mean I'm doing this from the, the spot of me where I have a forever, ever green line of love. No, it means it slipped to some other spot. When, you know, I, I'm in the business of, in my own way, of healing people and talking to people and, and all of that. And if I ever get where I feel like I'm getting burned out, it's because I took the focus off me giving and I moved it to me getting. Mm -hmm. And when I move it to me getting, it's tiring as fuck. Uh huh. So as long as I'm in me giving, me loving, and me enjoying, I never get tired. I can do, I'm going to tell you what, if you see people who are ever really in love with what they do and they hear someone talking about burnout, they laugh. They laugh. Because there is no burnout from the thing that you love. There's not. It's a lie. It's a lie. How can you get burned out of loving? You can't. Oh God, I'm giving and getting too much love. I better, I need a vacation. Are you fucking out of your mind? It doesn't even make sense. It makes no sense. So when you get into this kind of flow and then you feel yourself move out of it, if you're doing the thing that you love, and if you feel yourself getting taxed, re-examine it because something changed. And usually what it is, is when your thoughts shift from not me giving, but I'm still giving, but I'm trying to count what I'm getting. I'm not getting enough. I'm not feeling enough this, that, and then that'll burn you out. And as soon as you move back into 100% giving, there is no burnout. I have to tell you what, if I could live 200 years, I could do what I'm doing every day for the next 200. Because I fucking love it. I fucking love it. And I fucking love it. And if you don't feel that way, I'm 56, I think. Or 56, I get, I get confused. I'm either 56 or 57. And I am doing the thing that I love to do. And if you, if you could feel that, I feel better than I felt when I was in my teens. In my teens, I wasn't doing what I wanted to do. I was going to school and I fucking hated it. Like, I feel alive. And you can feel this way every single day. And what does it take? It takes 25 minutes of reflection. 25 minutes of reflection, of sitting down and saying, fucking Jerry, I'm gonna be honest with myself. Or Mary, or Christy, or Heidi, or whatever my name, I'm gonna be honest with myself. I don't care how upset this conversation makes me. I'm gonna be honest with myself. I'm not doing what I like to do, okay? Yes or no? No, I'm not, uh-huh. What would I really love to be doing right now? Well, I'd love to be a dancer. Da, da, da. That's how the conversation starts. And there is no wrong answer. And there is never a space of being too late. There is not. You cannot be too late. So this is the conversation. Let's talk about it. In a room, quiet, doors closed, kids outside, husband not here, whatever the deal is, I am alone. If I have to do it in my clothes closet, go in your clothes closet, close the door. Be honest with yourself. Are you really happy? No. Are you happy with your job? No. Boom, boom. Two big ones. Uh -huh. 
What could you be doing right now that would make you happy? And, and having money is not an answer here. Having money is a byproduct of getting this shit right. I, I'm going to tell you something. Click into that. Having money is the byproduct of getting this right. Boom. Okay, so fuck having money. Uh, I always wanted to own my own production company. Boom. Uh-huh. Well, how does that start? Being a videographer. Uh-huh. How can I do that? I'm going to do it this Sunday. I'm going to go and shoot big. This is what I'm talking about. I, I want to be a writer. I want to be a writer. You know what? Let me ask you, what, what's on the first page of your book? Oh, nothing. Well, then you don't want to fucking be a writer. Because writing a book starts with two words. Ask me. I'm a guy who didn't graduate high school and I've written two books. Uh-huh. It starts with writing two words. Putting thoughts down. That's how it starts. So I'm going to tell you, I'm begging to you, and I'm trying to appeal to you. Please don't listen to people that are going to tell you that somehow there's some magic formula that's going to make you successful and happy uh, uh, as far as a vocation in under 10 years. They're lying. They're lying. And, 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 and I'm going to tell you, I'm telling you the truth. It takes that long. It's statistically proven it takes that long. So you better be doing something you love. This is not, this is not black magic. This is simple, simple, simple shit. You better be doing something you love. And if this conversation is pissing you off, fucking good. Because the more mad you are, the more likely you are to go into a room and take 25 minutes and tell yourself the truth. And I want to tell you, at Rhythmia, we specialize in coming to the truth. We do. Uh-huh. You can ask the 63 or 6,400 people who've been here if they got to the truth and they will tell you they did and they do it here with the assistance of plant medicine. So I want you to come here. I want you to come here. And if you can't, go to your closet uh huh, and sit down and tell yourself the truth. The, the homework assignment for this week is to tell yourself the truth. And on that list, tell the whole truth. And if you can do that, you're going to be this much closer to getting it. And the difference between getting it and not getting it means everything to your heart and soul and there's this much of a difference. Uh-huh. It's the truth. Just tell them the truth. So by all means, I want you guys to come here. Give us a call. And I tell you, we're booked out and booked out and booked out. So think of January 1-866-936-9446. Uh, and call us and, and let us know how we can help you with coming here. Uh -huh. And until next week, God hold you, God keep you, God love you. And be, do yourself a big favor this week. Tell yourself the truth, even if it hurts. Tell yourself the truth. Uh -huh. You'll find love in there. Love for you, love for your situation, and love for what you're becoming. So listen, thank you guys. Thank you for tuning in. I'm so happy to talk to you every week, and I will see you next week. God bless you. God keep you. God hold you. Goodbye.